Are you getting the soda thing? Oh, that's me, Daddy! Oh, my sweet boy. Daddy! First, first day, because I is for him. Right, come to say. <laughs> it's Daddy. It's Daddy. Yeah, it's so it's first day of school, so getting them all ready out here. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Wife's gone, daughter's gone, son's gone. So now it's time to head to the office to do some work. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Christopher Gross for CG Gear. Today we are gonna be talking about, yes, my EDC, my everyday carry. You must do one of these videos at least once or twice a year if you are a tech youtuber it's an unwritten rule so here i am doing my edc so for me this is just going to be building on my first video which was on the magsafe wallet so um in keeping with the minimalistic lifestyle i'm going to show you what i carry on a day-to-day -to, -day to keep um everything i do to a minimum or everything i carry to a minimum so let's uh Roll that intro. All right, welcome back. So let's just get right into it. My everyday carry, number one on the list is my glasses, my spectacles. They are an Armani Exchange uh, brand. Um, plain black with uh, transition frames they are supposed to be um, scratch proof and everything like that but they have many a scratch on them nothing to see there but I did want to mention the glasses because I do have a special uh, reveal that I'm going to be doing uh, shortly to do with glasses so make sure you stay tuned make sure you like and subscribe that you are notified once that video drops you do not want to miss that one anyway moving on second is hats so um just hats in general i have tons and tons of hats so this is um godfidence hat that um i bought from my church but anyway um i've got plenty of hats that's an everyday carry for me as well now um, not really tech stuff, but let's get into a few tech items. Um, first one, mandatory AirPods. So I am still on just the second gen AirPods with the um, charging case. There you go, there you go, there you go. I'm still on the second gen. Um, I would like to move to the AirPods Pro, but I've been holding on. Many of you know I'm filming, filming this just, just before the Apple event, so um, I'm waiting to see if there's any next generation AirPods that come up before I jump on to say like the AirPods Pro or what's not. Um, these have been around for a while. There's nothing new to see here. Um, I just love just the portability, um, the convenience of carrying this around. Um, I like that if they get lost, uh, you can use find my um, AirPods to 
uh, either get directions to them or to chime them if they're like under a sofa or lost in your house somewhere that they'll start to beep. Um, you do have to find them before they die, the batteries die, which is the caveat to that. But um, yeah, not not insane sound quality, but decent. I get I get by. Um, listen to tunes on it. I po uh, air, um, podcast a lot with these. Um, yeah, but can't go wrong. Switch between your devices if you are in the Apple eco ecosystem. You can be take we'll listen to a call or on on this at one moment. Call ends. You go back to your iPad and start listening, and they switch over to your iPad. Super convenient, super cool. Price is right for these. Uh, they're a little expensive, but they're the cheaper of um, the different AirPods available from Apple right now. Love these. Next um, is the Apple Watch. I am rocking a Series 5 Apple Watch at the moment. This little guy, I don't know what I would do without. Um, I, I like watches generally, but um, ever since I got the Apple Watch, I just have not used any other watch before. Uh, again, um, I do need to get a new strap. I would love to get some straps for this. I just haven't found the right one for me yet. Uh, main uses for this, um, I actually use this a lot for monitoring sleep. That's probably the, one of the biggest things. So I'll put this on, um, I, ha I usually have it on all day. And um, about half an hour before I start winding down for bed, if there's not enough power on the watch left, then it will actually give me alert to let me know I got to charge it before bed. Um, just because I've um, been doing some research on health stuff and how important sleep sleep is to your health. It's um, kind of cool to track your sleep to see how well you sleep, how much restlessness you have, so on and so forth. Um, another health thing is just going for walks and uh, monitoring my VO2 max. That's another big thing um, health-wise. So it just lets you know how efficiently your body um, takes in oxygen and um, oxygenates your blood. Uh, as you are doing any kind of workout, which is pretty cool. Uh, it monitors your heart rate. Um, gives you alerts if your heart rates are too high or too low. And, uh, and then, yeah, just the, just the random, just notifications as well in general are awesome with this watch. Whether you get messages or, or anything like that, you can also bring this along because it's got cellular. Um, so if I just want to leave my iPhone but behind, I could take this and I could send and receive messages and make them receive calls, listen to music without having to carry my my phone around if I don't want to, or just want to leave my phone in my pocket or my backpack. So that is definitely an everyday carry there. Still waiting to see what they do with uh, future um, Apple Watches. So. Yeah, I haven't seen a reason to upgrade to the 6 yet. Uh, we'll see what comes up um, in the near future. Moving on. Uh, the newest addition to the family is the AirTag. So, I I just have it on my key. So, I've got my fob here. Uh, kind of work fob. A couple of keys. And the AirTag. I used to have, like... Probably about 10, maybe about 10 different keys that I would carry around everywhere. Um, one for my studio, but uh, like I don't go to the studio um, every day, so I just take the keys off and leave them behind. I used to have a long, um, like a carabiner, not a carabiner, but like, yeah, a carabiner with a long, I forget what they call them. Not on my desk, but yeah, just like a long strap. Start let, just left that behind. I just want as little as I can to carry around. Just house keys. And then, of course, the air tag is on there in case I lose my keys. So that's pretty pretty handy for that. Um, I do recommend air tags. There's like you can get on you can get along without them, but this is like they're nice to have. Just I, I throw one on my keys. Throw one in the backpack. Um, I've tried to like put it on my drone so like if I if I'm like trying to fly somewhere 
and uh, um, the drone just takes takes off or I lose it or I crash it somewhere. Um, that I, hopefully that I'll be able to track it. I put one on my cat's collar, which is kind of interesting to kind of see if I could track her. Um, uh, if she decides to go away and not come back for a very long time, we can try to track her. Uh, even though she's just in the house, just if you want to know if she's in the house, we can um, kind of um, track her that way. To, like if she's hiding under a couch or whatever, then we'll know that she's in the house or what's not if we need to know where she is. So pretty cool. Air tags, yes. Very minimal key carry. There's the wallet that I had been talking about. This is the MagSafe wallet. So I did do a full video, like a like a full video review on this. I'll leave a link in the bio, bio and maybe try to attach a link to this video that you can click on if you haven't seen my review of that. But I just love the sleekness of this wallet. Super sleek and thin. Carries um, two cards easily. You just push them up from the back like so. Put them back in like that. So I've got a full video on that, but that's part of my everyday carry. I do not carry a wallet 95% of the time. I'm just carrying this. So it's got either my driver's license or it's got a credit card or it's got a driver's license, in, driver's license and a debit card. Usually just one of the two. And last but not least is the thing that ties everything together, which is my iPhone. 12 Pro Max and this is the first Pro Max I've had in the lineup Apple's lineup so far I think Pro Max started at iPhone 11 if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah I love the screen real estate here um, the display is just phenomenal um, like I don't even know what to say like you have to just see it to believe it you just have to have one um it, it does feel a little big and a little clunky at times but i appreciate that more than having a smaller screen at the moment so uh yeah it just ties everything together and um again just all the health stuff that apple's doing is great um, all the health app records all the sleep data it records all your workouts it records all of that stuff and um, I use it to track all my spending and budgets uh, do the banking um, monitor my YouTube uh, um, channel everything that going on, that's going on there I manage some web websites so I'll do tweaks and stuff for for Customers, if they ask me to change things on their website on the go, on the go, um, track all my eating, my calories and stuff like that with Weight Watchers or um, or Fitness Pal. Um, yeah, you guys all have phones, you know how they work. Um, I'm just super happy with my iPhone 12, and uh, I get all day battery out of it. Usually, you have to charge it overnight, and that's about it. Sometimes once every couple of days. Because I do have like a car charger and um, and chargers all over the, the house. So I'll just throw it on a pad when if, it, if I ever feel like it's getting low or just out of force of habit. I'll throw it on a pad and let it charge a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, never had any problems with battery life with this bad boy. Um, yeah, and I plan on doing a video about just how I set up my phone in the near future too. So stick around for that. Also subscribe if you want to see something like that. So um this is my everyday carry. It's uh, really simple, really neat. Um, as I was saying before, nothing too spectacular. Just had to get out of the way. Tech channel. So there it is. If you have any questions, leave the comments. Leave the questions below. Comment below. Let me know what you're carrying from day to day. Anything you think I need, I should carry, but I am not. Anything that you think I could swap out that um, you think might uh, be good. Let us all know down below. All right, so just don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my video. Share it as well if you want to. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. This is Chris Grove signing out. Later.